guys, this week I want to do a quick thing on my short sleeve button ups. So I got a lot of questions about specifically this one. When I did my q and I was wearing that. And I've always gotten a lot of questions from you guys wanting to know where I get them. Um, you know, they've always been kind of my statement piece, more a little more interesting, definitely more busy than what I normally wear. Because most of the stuff I normally wear is just a, you know, basic, I wear a lot of basic black tees, basic vintage white tees, um, things like that. So when it comes to my short sleeve button ups, I like to get a lot more busy with them. Um, so let's just kind of go over a couple because you don't have to break the bank to get some really cool short sleeve button ups. So this one, I'll start with this, is the, the brand is Snaky, I believe, or Snacky. Um, I found this just searching for vintage Hawaiian shirts. And this is actually a new company, a new shirt, This and this popped up, and I think I paid maybe 25, 30 bucks for this. And also here is another one I wear pretty often. And this is the Zara. So that's, all, you know, you're probably familiar with Zara. If you're not, definitely check them out because they've got some really good, um, just, you know, affordable short sleeve button ups you can get in there because these things can get really pricey. Like for example, this is also one of my very favorites, but this is the Saturdays. Um, and this is basically an old bowling shirt in a way, It's uh, but it's a new one that they made. And this one will run you, I believe this one was probably a little over a couple hundred bucks for this one. So you can get into the higher dollar and I just have such a hard time saying no to um, short sleeve button ups that are so unique and just stand out. And this one, this is kind of a medium priced Brixton and this is great for summer. I like this for spring and summer. I've also worn a couple of my shoots you've seen me post as well. And what's great about all these is once you get a good collection of these going, you can just grab a, like this, just a basic black tank top or a white one and, or even a wife beater and you pair it with one of these and you can wear it with, you can wear those, you know, pair those together with any ones you have. Also this company, they're called Fix and they're out of England and these guys are cool. They do a lot of, it's, I would call it a vintage cowboy rocker vibe, I guess. But if you see like, what they'll do is they'll come in on the buttons and then they'll use little um, skull, uh, skulls. So these are really, really high quality shirts too and they're affordable. And then the last one, this is a John Barbados. So, you know, this is one of the more pricey ones. But like I said, it just kind of goes to show, does it really matter, you know, price wise? I mean, you can really find really good stuff for affordable prices. Like this one is an All Saints. Once again, not super expensive for it. So I hope that helps out a little bit and uh, all right, almost forgot. So I also like, like for example, this was actually a long sleeve shirt. So I will actually take, if I find a long sleeve shirt that has got an amazing pattern on it and um, I think would look great as a short sleeve, I don't wear a whole lot of long sleeve short, like um, long sleeve button ups. So I'll take these and actually cut them. And I always roll my sleeves anyways. It's kind of the old 50s vibe or whatever that I, always incorporate in my short sleeve button ups. Um, this though, this, I mean when you roll it you don't even see the cut. So that's also another little thing as well. So don't get a long sleeve shirt and then think that, you know, you never wear it because you, the sleeves don't fit right or whatever. You always can cut it and just roll it and then you've got a 50s retro thing going on. All right, so this segment we're gonna talk about men's jewelry, do's and don'ts, and I'm gonna show you just a couple pieces that I have and also the brands that I really like uh, uh, at the moment. So, first off, when it comes to men's rings, I do a lot of stuff with my hands, so I don't like having any obstructions, but at the same time, I also like wearing men's rings. So, thumb is like a no-go for me. Pointer finger is also another no-go for me because those are two very, very busy fingers. I always tend to wear all my rings on my two center fingers or my pinky if it's small enough, the ring is small enough. 
and it doesn't look like I'm, you know, trying to be some pimp or something. Anyways, so for example, also putting them together though. So I was talking earlier about the t-shirts, how certain things can be busy. Uh, this is an example of like what I consider like more of a busy ring. So I wouldn't pair that with something like this. It's just too much going on. So for example, with this, it would probably be something, you know, you wear something that's more simple that complements this. And uh, well, they actually, they complement each other. So this is an old vintage. I've been asked about this before. I found this at a vintage shop here in, L here in LA. I don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on one of these. It's kind of those one-off, you know, pieces. But uh, my good buddies over at Witness Company always take care of me with, this is, uh, it's got my initials on it. This is their hooligan ring. This is probably the most solid ring I've ever felt in my life. It's uh, all sterling silver, the whole ring is. It, for what you get from him is so reasonably priced. I mean, it, it's, you, you're literally stealing these things. But they're all handmade and they get better with wear. I wear these when I work on my bike, I wear them when I'm working on the Jeep, whatever I'm doing, I always have these on. Also, this is the one he just sent recently, which is, this is the 13 ring. And these are his signet, signet pieces. And he actually will do custom engravings for you if you want that on there as well. So, I'll just give an example. For this, I like wearing, one. this one's a little tough to get on. I like wearing these two together. I think they complement each other really well. And they are oversized rings, but they're simple enough to where they don't take away from each other. So those are my two favorites to wear at the moment. Also, Clocks and Colors, which you may be familiar with, uh, they just sent me this. This is their new Hold Fast ring that just came out. I really like this pair as well. And I also have this one as well from Clocks and Colors. And all these are silver. I don't ever wear anything that's not sterling silver because it just, um, it'll turn your fingers green and it just, you shouldn't wear certain metals on your skin that are not like a pure metal. It's just not good for you. It's not good to have any type of metal on you like that. And sterling silver has been proven to be safe and it doesn't cause any issues or allergic reactions. So I've always, always have liked silver and it also ages better. The more banged up it gets, the better it looks. The more dull it gets, um, I like them even more. Um, also, I just recently started wearing a watch. I had such a hard time finding a watch that I really liked. This is a Shinola and I bought this, but then I found a vintage band on eBay. And I believe this is off of probably like an old Rolex from the 80s. And it's really easy to pop on and pop off, but it just uh, gave it like a real cool vintage feel to it. Um, and then this is also my Cuban bracelet that I wear. And this one, it came from the same place that I got this, which is a little small vintage jewelry shop right off of Melrose called um, Pop Funk, I believe is what it's called. So it's a really, really cool place. And um, yeah, I think that pretty much sums up what I wanted to cover this week. So I'll see you guys next week.